Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, WandaVision has finally cleared um, up to the fourth episode, and we actually know what's happening now. Um, the third episode, this is sort of a review of three and four, um, I got tired. Um, I wasn't really impressed with the first two, just the idea of um, just sort of using the sitcom reality to um, have a character hide in because they can't handle the real world or something we've seen before. Roseanne did it when her when Dan died, um, then she imagined that he cheated and she um, became Mary Tyler Moore and Jeannie and all these sort of things. It's sort of been, and I know other people have done it before, so I sort of was like, this can't be the series, this can't be the whole thing. I wasn't very impressed. I mean, um, technically it was brilliant, it looked just like the real sitcom and everything, blah, blah. But um, eventually um, we're seeing that something's definitely wrong in Westview. Um, and the first two episodes very much were just set up mode, and the third episode is still sort of set up mode, but there is uh, more of a um, crack in the reality where, um, to but it is still towards the end of the episode where basically we see Monica Rambo catapulted into the real world, um, and basically um, we see that it's not, um, it's, it's not a real world. It's basically. Um, what what is it? Um, people are saying it's part of um, because it's related to Doctor Strange. It's part of the multiverse of madness. That it's a different reality, um, and so forth and so on. But basically, we're seeing someone push out of that world into the real world. So we know it is a real world. It's not just Wanda's imagination or um, dreams or anything like that. It's actually a reality or some sort of um, place that people can live in or be contained in. Um, and we see sword agents, so we know sword is involved. I mean, a lot of people who are keyed into Marvel already knew most of this. I'm not a huge Marvel person, so I didn't really remember who the hell sword was. I'm like, I didn't really recognise the the symbols, the pendant, um, the beekeeper, the um, the the symbols um, on things. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of was like, not really into it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this time we went into colour, and it's, it was a lot more surreal, basically. Um, she's pregnant, so it sort of plays like your old sort of sitcom, Mother Having a Baby sort of episode, but it's very surreal. They had a stork walking around, um, and uh, it, just, it just it was a different tone. It wasn't, um, it wasn't as much of just a copying a sitcom style that had a much darker sort of, it had a depth to it, um, you knew, you, you, you knew for sure more was happening, whereas the first two you weren't really sure if it was just going to be some light fluffy little semi-parody that would just have some little twist at the very end after dragging out for too long, which is where I thought it was going to go, which is why I lost interest. Kind of glad I'm wrong, but you know. Um, and it does feel part of the bigger story and um, we see that They've got, this time they sort of the house like the Brady house, but um, it's it's really just dressing. It's not um, really like a Brady episode. Um, there's no kids. It doesn't quite seem right. Um, there's like just a sense of dread the whole time. I mean, there was in the first episodes, episodes, but there is more. You feel you feel the intent. You feel there's a plot. You feel there's planning. It's not just um, it's not just style basically. Um, and then at the end of the episode, um, Monica gets thrown out. Uh, then the next episode, which is the more shocking episode, is basically we we're basically out of that world and we're into the real back into the real world. So we're in um, Swords Reality. They've got um, their um, response base and um, their tented sort of areas, and they're watching the events of the three episodes on TV. And it's like some sort of broadcast signal, um, which is intertwined with radiation, and there's cosmic threats and they're basically treating this thing like um an emergency like they're, they're monitoring it there's this this and we still don't quite know what it is um has has um wanda created this reality and dragged people in because all the people who seem to be in the, the sitcom as her neighbors are all missing people are they all victims um, were they all sucked into it, or did she drag them in? Is she using these people to create this reality? Um, has someone created it to keep her in it? Um, we don't really know. There's still plenty of mystery and plenty of questions, but 
yeah, it's <laughs> it's more now. And Monica um, has got a bigger role, which is good because there's little references like um, um, what was the name of her mother? Her, her code name was like Proton, and they mentioned that, and they're just sort of giving us a few sort of hints of where she could go. And I think a lot of people are hoping she would just be Captain Marvel now, and um, that we don't have to deal with um, the other Captain Marvel who. You know, if, if you want to be, um, if you want diversity, um, you know, we really should have a black monarch, a black Captain America, female Captain America, not a, you know, lily white blonde one. So if she ends up um, becoming more from this, and this sort of is a way to make her more popular and um, have a bigger stance in the Marvel Universe and the film universe, assuming the film universe continues, assuming film continues after COVID, um, that'll be interesting. Um... I just don't think, what else happens? I mean, we're basically just watching the events and um, you sort of, yeah, that's kind of it though. You just sort of have the big reveal and then you just sort of stay in it the whole time and then there's sort of, some of the charm obviously is lost because the, this this sitcom world, they're not trying to create it anymore. You, they're watching, the only time you see it is when it's on TV and it's being watched by the other people. Um, and I should mention that um, Thor's, um, what's her name, um, Darcy is in it, and um, Ant-Man's uh, FBI agent, Jimmy Wu, who's just cute and always out of his depth. And um, it's very much just Marvel Universe, Marvel World now. Um, now, they had that moment where um, Wanda saw Vision basically dead for a second, um, grey with the, um, the, the damage to his forehead. Um, that was done in widescreening in colour with the same sort of colour palette and everything. So they had these little moments, but then we're now fully in the Marvel Universe with just just like a conventional show, and it's very much, we know that's a separate world, separate universes now can even be observed by the universe that we're in, which is our universe, which is the Marvel Universe. We see um, Monica Rambeau coming back from um, the snap, and we are assured this is that universe, that time, post that, we're in sort of our world of the Marvel Universe now, so, but I think that, I don't as much as I didn't like the first couple episodes, it was at least unique, and now that's gone, and now we're just in another Marvel show, and that's just part of it, so it's a little bit disappointing in some ways that it's gone, but um, if they'd just done that and then had the reveal in the last episode, it would have been tedious as hell. I don't know, maybe they could have pulled it off. I think it would have been more interesting if they tried to pull it off for longer, actually, because they would have had to have done more interesting things. Um, I think part of the reason why the first couple of episodes weren't as engaging is because they were only doing the first couple to set up. They didn't have to establish as much and make it as interesting. But um, I just want to talk about the fact that it, it, it just, you know, it just happened. We broke out of that universe. We're back into the, we're in the Marvel universe. That's a separate universe within it, and it makes more sense. And um, yeah, and I'm now curious to see where the other five episodes go. But it's more conventional wonder of plot-wise what's going to happen as opposed to what is this. It's more like, okay, what's next? So they sort of jumped out of this interesting, now I feel like a hypocrite, um, interesting world into now just the conventional familiar, um, which is what everyone wanted, of course, and everyone's comfortable and happy with because people were sort of rattled by the whole... I was bored by it, but other people were sort of rattled by what is this world? Why, why are we still in this world? Even though there were those clear to most people, not unfortunately not me, clear signs that S.W.O.R.D. was observing this, this reality, reality and it wasn't like, well I guess it could have been her imagining in her dream, in her fantasy, that S.W.O.R.D. was observing it, but we did see signs that S.W.O.R.D. was actually observing it from our world as a separate world, so but I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of the series. Um, I don't feel like there's much more to think about with what's going to happen. Um, it's kind of going to be very conventional now, so it's just going to be a basic watch, you know, the basic superhero episodes, what happens next, I don't know. But, um, yeah, any thoughts, let me know. Thanks, bye.